Hey guys, welcome back and today we're going to be taking a look at iOS 13 developer beta 3 as I usually like to do here on the channel a few days later after a beta is released I like to give you guys a follow-up to talk about the battery the performance any additional new features and changes that have been discovered as well as talk about some of the bugs and still some of the issues within the software I did run a YouTube community poll which we'll talk about towards the end of the video you guys have been voting and submitting your issues with the software so this helps out a lot because this kind of ties everything together not everyone has the same issues and we'll get to some of those comments before the end of the video but first let's talk about some of the latest changes that I've come across after using the software we'll also talk about battery and everything else in between so the first thing I want to talk about is new splash screen within the messages application uh, the first time I launched the messages application this was the splash screen that I was greeted with uh, a few days later I got in messages in the cloud or splash screen as well indicating on how the messages in the cloud work and how they free up space on your iPhone and how you can delete one on one iPhone or one iOS device and it deletes on all your iOS devices. So messages in the cloud, uh, splash screen, definitely uh, one thing that I've noticed that's new that popped up on my device over the last several days. Now, something quite interesting that happened in settings and I did take a screenshot of this. I did change my passcode on the iPhone and when I locked the device and unlocked it again, I have a confirmed iPhone passcode prompt on the bottom here on the top portion of settings right below the iCloud settings and a software update prompt on the actual main page for the settings again I've already updated but this was right there as you see from the image I did take a screenshot I didn't have to go all the way to the actual general settings and software updates portion to get my update for iOS 13 it was actually prompted right there on the main page of settings so something new for me as well let me know if you've seen this before now a very cool prompt and notification settings on the lock screen occurred over the past few days now the software is using its own artificial intelligence to sort of suggest things I've noticed this with iOS 13 it's been happening more and more often I was getting notifications from this game that I've been playing and it says here do I want to keep getting these notifications or do I want to turn them off normally if you get a notification you would have to swipe to the right and then these settings will appear and then you get the prompt on how you want these notifications to be delivered but with machine learning it looks like iOS 13 automatically prompted me with this card with the actual settings already there for me to choose if I want to continue getting these notifications or not as I mentioned iOS 13 just continues to get smarter throughout the entire OS as you see here when that do not disturb while driving feature is enabled Apple will prompt you with a custom Siri command card that lets you know what feature can be used with Siri while driving so you can keep your eyes on the road and I've seen this more and more throughout iOS I've seen it in messages and settings in the phone application and now when that do not disturb while driving you get this prompt this card that explains things that you can do with Siri while driving I don't know how many times I've had the comment on my YouTube videos how do I enable or turn off airdrop users don't know that go to control center and 3d touch on the platter in the center will actually bring you to airdrop in actual hotspot so if Apple was to add more of these cards throughout the control center here explaining that this can be done our users will actually use more features within iOS because a lot of people don't know these features actually exist so with these little cards Apple will continue to improve upon the user experience in iOS 13 I'm very very happy to see that this continues to happen now under the privacy tab just a quick minor change here the motion and fitness tab now is uh, a green icon instead of a blue icon there so that's a minor change within the settings application and within the notes we have now all these little icons next to the actual action so pin has a pin right there and we have the move with a folder and delete with the actual trash can highlighted in red so minor changes happening within the OS here but a lot of advances in machine learning throughout the entire experience for iOS 13 I want to head on over here to the YouTube community page and talk about some of the issues within the software a lot of the stuff you guys have been submitting yourselves let's go here to my YouTube uh, community page here and take a look at some of the issues that you guys have come across within the last iOS 13 beta 3 re release so approximately 14 hours ago I've asked you guys on the YouTube community page how is iOS 13 beta 3 the re-release working for you and I would like to know your thoughts in the comments and you guys have voted so far in 14 hours we have uh, 3,900 votes 
and 16% of you guys have a great experience with the re-release for iOS 13 beta 3 and 71% of you guys have some bugs but not bad okay so that's where I'm at as well and 13% uh, straight up bad so 13% of you guys are having a terrible experience with iOS 13 I want to take a look here at some of the comments as well right here unresponsiveness around the UI this is major I've had unresponsiveness within the YouTube application scrolling through Safari has been unresponsive in some cases freezing I feel like throwing my phone to the ground but I remember it is a beta so I can't really complain this is part of the beta process so unresponsiveness throughout the OS throughout the digital touch uh, within the messages I've noticed there's issues there as well so right here Nick also says unable to swipe on the keyboard so unable to swipe on the keyboard appears to be an issue for some users not for me in particular but it looks like that's an issue for some of you guys and the YouTube application freezing this has also occurred to me me and uh, this is a combination of iOS 13 and YouTube having to update the application to actually work properly within iOS 13 keep in mind this is still beta 3 so YouTube is still working with Apple in order to bring a good user experience for users in iOS 13 now not everyone is having a bad experience right here work perfectly fine so everything is working fine for some users some users do say that it is better than the previous beta 3 I agree with that as well and it still X's out of FaceTime. So this is an issue as well that I've had. That's why I liked and heard this comment because when I make FaceTime calls, it would actually freeze, disconnect, and uh, it would hang up on its own. Sometimes the calls will not come through and I do have some issues with FaceTime as well. So if you guys wanna learn more some of the issues that other iOS users are encountering with iOS 13 betas, I will continue to run these polls on YouTube, so be on the lookout for them. I'll be uh, very appreciative if you can comment your issue as well as vote on these uh, polls because it helps every user understand what's happening and it helps you understand you're not the only one with issues if you're having a particular issue. Now, in regards to battery, unfortunately I can't say it's back to the peak performance as it was on previous betas. On the beta 1 and beta 2 I was getting anywhere from 8 to sometimes even 9 hours of battery life. Now I'm struggling to reach eight hours of battery life with the latest beta for iOS 13. But nonetheless, Apple continues to improve upon the software. That is my quick follow-up. Battery is not quite there just yet. There are some bugs, but the software continues to improve. And of course, you'll have my video on the next beta once it is released, so be sure to stay tuned here to the channel. I wanna thank you guys for watching today's follow-up video. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.